Hey, how's it going everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, you know what to do. Smash the like button on the way in. I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today I've got two, count them, two boxes from our friends over at Concept Knives. Thank you to them for sending these in for review. Now, here's the deal. I know that I have been showing off a lot of knives that cost 100, 200, 300 plus dollars. And for some of us, we just want to check out some knives that cost under a hundred bucks. It's true. Fatigue sets in and we get tired of paying a lot of money for knives. Maybe we just want something that is fun to carry, something that gets the job done, something that's enjoyable. And at the same time, something very well made and both of the knives that i'm about to show today are in fact priced under a hundred dollars so if you're interested in either of these i will make sure that there are links in the description down below those are of course affiliate links so by using them you do support the channel but that is entirely up to you let's go ahead and get started by talking about the concept keelan that's right, this is called the Keelan. That's Q I L I N. And if you're wondering what that is, that is actually a Chinese mythical creature, one of their four mythical creatures, and some have described it as the Chinese unicorn. And this one is actually a really cool design from one Ostap Hell. And now, Ostap is a designer that many, many fanatics are familiar with because his design language is very unique. He follows what's called the golden ratio, and this is absolutely beautiful to behold at the sub $100 price point. We're looking at 82 bucks for this one specifically. And if you're wondering what that gets you, the Keelan comes in at just shy of eight inches. They're reporting 7.99, but we can round up. We can call it a straight eight inches, 3.4 inch blade, which is made of 154 cm. Here's the thing. You might miss this. This is actually a harpoon tanto with a compound grind. Pretty cool. On these handle skills, this is a mixture of contoured carbon fiber and G10. It's got a reversible pocket clip. It is a liner lock. And if we're going to check that out, looks like it's going to be locking up somewhere in the realm of, I would call that about 25, maybe 30%. Let's talk about the QC items. It's got pretty good lockup and lockout. It's running on ceramic bearings and it has a little bit of a ramp to get over here, but once you do, it's a very smooth action and it's very, very nicely centered as well. Now from the offset, you might believe that this actually has two deployment options between the fuller and the flipper tab, but that's only true if you're a lefty because the other side of this fuller is not accessible to us right-handed users, which is going to be the primary users. But you know, I know lefties are out there and can you do a fuller flick with the left hand? Yeah, absolutely you can. But for everyone else, it is in fact a flipper. They classify this as a gentleman's knife. In fact, they classify both the knives I'm going to show today as a gentleman's knife. And this is kind of nice and refreshing. You know, we're used to seeing specific types of knives classified as gentlemen's knives. I rarely see harpoon blade shapes in that classification. So it's kind of cool. Now, if you're not a fan of the carbon fiber and G10, they do have other models as well that are just straight G10. So you have some options to choose from. Something that I think is pretty aesthetically cool is the overall lack of body screws. This is in fact an open back design. We don't have any posts or any backspacers back here. Although I am a fan of backspacers in this case, I get it. It's an open back design. It's meant to be lightweight. They wanted to shave down as much as possible. And speaking of lightweight and speaking of Ostap Hell being a fan of using the golden ratio, check this out. The blade length is 3.4 inches and the weight of this knife is 3.4 ounces. That is perfect ratios. And I know many, many of us out there get OCD and we love that. So the good news is, is that if you're one of those people yeah, this will fit right in with you. As far as ergos are concerned, the grip is great. You can, of course, lock in right behind the harpoon 
a swedge right here at the spine of the blade. That's nice. There's no choke up spot. You could attempt to trigger pull, but honestly, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it. As far as things like edge termination are concerned, it's okay. I mean, I do wish that they had made that sharpening choil just a little bit farther away from the plunge grind, but, but ultimately I don't see it giving people too much grief when it comes time to sharpen this thing. The pocket clip is not terribly fancy, but this is not a terribly expensive knife. In fact, the pocket clip works really well. It's got plenty of spring to it, but it does lean a little bit towards the stiffer side of things. It has great retention in the pocket and it doesn't get in the way of ergos. Balance on here, just as you'd expect, is really, really good. Very easy to manipulate, very easy to index, and overall, it's a beautiful design. If there was anything that I could say that I wish they had done a little differently, I wish that they had carved out the handle scales on the clip side to match that of the show side so that we could actually access that fuller. And Ostap Hell did the same thing when he designed the best Heckman Dundee, which was another knife of his that had a fuller that was not accessible from the clip side for a reverse flick, which honestly, I kind of wish that it was. Now, if you dig in deep and you push against that blade, can you reverse flick it? The answer is sometimes, but it's not comfortable and it wasn't really meant for that. All that being said, the flipper does work really good. It's a nice and smooth action and overall a beautiful design. Next up, we've got the Concept Integra, and this is going to be coming in about 79 bucks. The Concept Integra is a creation from none other than JK Knives. And for those of you who are deep in the knife community and the knife hobby, you may have heard of JK knives. They've been making knives for a few years now, and they're actually gaining some popularity. The Integra coming in at 79 bucks is going to have very similar materials to the Keelan. For example, we're looking at a stone washed blade, which is 154 CM, as well as stacked G10 handle scales and a liner lock. Now I mentioned already, but they do consider this to be a gentleman's knife. For a gentleman's knife, I would say that this is actually a little bit on the thicker side, a little bit more robust, but it is flipper only. And the action is really, really smooth. That's nice. I can tell already that some of you might be saying, that's cool. I just kind of wish that they had made a more premium version. They did. You can actually get this for around 250 bucks in M390 and titanium. So if you like the design and you just want one that's a bit more premium with a little bit better materials, okay, maybe a lot better materials, uh, you have to pay for it, but you can in fact get it. Now, as far as the design language on this knife goes, I do actually really like it. I'm going to go over why. First of all, the ergos are nice and simple. They're not telling you where to put your hand. They're just kind of basic. Like, you know what? Create your own story. It'll work out. Your, your hand will figure it out. But what really impressed me on this is going to be the slicing geometry check that out. It gets really thin there behind the edge bevel, and then it stays that way for a very decent amount of time. Now, this I could tell that during the design process, this was probably initially what we would call a straight back design, but they did something cool here at the tip where they clipped it downward at the tip. Now, by doing that, what they did was they maintained the thickness of the spine to make it robust, and then they clipped it at the end, which made it extra pokey, extra stabby, and while giving it all the strength behind the tip that you would need. So if you need to put this through something, uh, it's going to maintain the integrity of the knife. Now on this one, speaking of the beauty of this blade, check out that stone wash finish. That looks really good. Concept has been absolutely nailing it when it comes to their stone washed finish. And it's great because you can put this through a lot of material and you're not really gonna notice the wear and tear over time. That stone wash is going to keep it looking great for a long time. Now check out the sharpening choil. That's not exactly the kind of sharpening choil that we're used to. It's not like this, you know, half circle thing going on. It's actually very slight, but what it does is it takes the edge termination far away from that plunge grind, meaning that if you do use this every day and you do go through a lot of materials, when it comes time to sharpen it, you're going to get a lot of life out of this blade. On the liner lock, we're looking at, I would say about 25% lockup. It is locked up and locked out 
really, really nicely. Now, the spine of the blade is clean. There is no jimping. I do kind of wish that there was, though, because for one, I do like getting right up there on the spine of the blade with my thumb when it comes time to really getting into a cutting task. I like that extra bit of control, and without jimping, honestly, it's just not there. I don't necessarily think that that's going to be a deal breaker for most people. It's just something that I personally prefer. On this one, you can also kind of trigger pull this flipper tab. It's not hard to get up there behind the edge of the blade and you're not going to feel like you're going to cut your index finger when you do that's great when it comes time to retract it it is a <laughs> check that out that's so smooth it's it's the hydraulic bearing action um, and the action is very good on both deployment and on retraction so that's nice this is one of those knives that is going to get the job done for a lot of people it's got a lot of really nice quality things like a deep carry pocket clip as well as this steel backspacer right here that backspacer is nice because it also incorporates a hidden lanyard post so for those of you who do like lanyards boom there you go and for those of you who don't uh, you can kind of just pop it in your pocket and forget about it without having to stare at a little hole going through the scales of the blade. And I think that's cool. If blue and black is not your thing, they do have this in a bunch of different color variants, including the all black for those of you who are a fan of that. Now on the body screws, we've got two and they go through the center of the scales right here and right here. And honestly, those are T6 screws, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it's at the end of the day, it's not a deal breaker. What's really interesting to me is how they were able to get this backspacer in there uh, while having the screws for the body right here and right here. I'm not entirely sure how they did that. Something else that I would have liked to have seen on this model is having the pocket clip recessed into the scale to make it more flush. And of course, to use flathead screws on that pocket clip. As it stands, they don't stick out too badly. I didn't have any issues getting in and out of the pocket during the carry time that I put this through. One handed in, one handed out. Uh, it's got a decent amount of retention without sticking too badly in the pocket at the same time. But now I'm curious as to what your thoughts are. What do you think of the Concept Integra and the Concept Keelan? Two affordable knives under a hundred bucks. For those of you who have been clamoring for less expensive knives on the channel, here's your moment. Let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of these two gentlemen's folders? Are these ones that you would consider or would these be a pass for you? If not, why not? Let's have that discussion down below. If you watch this far and you have haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing. And by the way, if you want to watch more awesome knife and EDC content, go ahead and click on one of the videos that pops up next.